Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I just thought I'd show you my uh, my digital my digital jukebox, which I've just uh, practically finished. I've uh, I'm waiting for a touchscreen digitizer to turn up, which I've ordered. Uh, so once that goes on, uh, there'll be a frame frame going on round it. Uh, probably chrome go to because it'll stand out with the black it should go should go pretty well together chrome and black so there'll be a chrome frame going around there uh, hiding all this mess here where the monitor is actually mounted in uh, where it's been set in got two switches on the front here this one here turns the actual computer on and off uh, so don't get any shutdown errors and this one is the main power switch to turn everything on and off and i have two side firing speakers uh, these are freeway car speakers uh, which uh, retail at uh, at the moment at uh, just under eight pounds from uh, maplin uh, i always use these speakers for these kind of projects because they're all over the cheap they're uh, actually not a bad speaker uh, just try and get the camera around that way so you get a good view of it uh, you have to excuse the state of my workbench at the moment all right let's have a look inside uh, this machine just pull the front open oh there we go right inside we have the uh, we have the motherboard and the hard drive. Uh, I've put what I've, what I've done here. I've put an extra. I've put a bigger heatsink in this. Uh, the original, uh, if if I can find it. Uh, it's knocking about somewhere. I can't seem to put my hands on it. But the original, the, the original was. Uh, the original was a little bit shorter than that and just a little flat piece of aluminium uh, that's basically all it was and uh, that's the original fan I've left just left that flopping about because uh, there's nowhere really to screw it and I've just left it there so I don't get any fan errors uh, that'll never come on because it won't get hot enough in here to actually switch that on but uh, I've left it just to uh, in case it just just in case the system decides to throw up any fan errors so just left it connected uh, this fan here is the one that's doing all the work it's uh, keeping heat sink nice and cool this barely gets lukewarm and the uh, for the fan also cools the memory as well and uh, audio comes from a small amplifier up here a small uh, Kinter I think it's pronounced uh, 500 watts yeah right ah. mm, never uh, if that's 500 watt amp I'm a monkey's uncle <laughs> yeah right uh, anyway it's uh, certainly powerful enough uh, to drive these two speakers uh, with quite a bit of volume it's not bad I've got a plug socket and double plug socket in there uh, for the uh, for the transformers I've got a transformer here for the uh, computer and I've got uh, a transformer here for the amplifier and obviously that's the back of the switches and I just close the door, make sure the wires are out of the way, they should be. Yeah, just close that. Oh, hang on. There we go. Yeah, it takes a bit of closing that with one hand, but there again, it's, if it takes a bit of closing, then it uh, shouldn't automatically come open on its own. Is my philosophy right? Let's uh, right. Let's give it. Uh, let's find something to play. Uh, let's go for this one. 
Uh, I'm using a remote control at the moment. Uh, this remote control uh, mini keyboard and touchpad. I'm using that at the moment. Until my touchscreen digitizer glass arrives and I can get that in. Let's go for that. I also, well, there we go. Confirmation. This is this machine is running Ducanator Lite. Let's get that going. Turn the volume up a bit. And that's barely turned up. And the stereo separation is actually quite good, it's not bad. That's... All right. Pause it. I'm very happy with this. I do have a full size digital jukebox which I built a few years ago and I just built this because I had the parts lying about. The only thing I had to buy was the speakers and the switch. This other, this little switch here, this little red switch here, I had that knocking about. I had to buy this switch and obviously the heat shrink tubing and to recover this, I had to buy the vinyl covering. Uh, still needs a bit of finishing off. And I've got to buy the trim to put around the monitor. But uh, I, don't, I won't worry about that until I get the, uh, the touchscreen uh, digitizer in place, which, as I say, is on order. And uh, that's about it for now, folks. Uh, that's a quick look at my uh, homemade digital jukebox. Uh, thank you very, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye for now.